Today, we're in Job chapter 5, and we see that it can be challenging sometimes to associate discipline with joy, especially when we face trials. But we're encouraged not to despise God's discipline or to mistake it for anger. He disciplines because he loves us and wants us to grow in him. Listen to what it says in Job 5, verses 17 and 18. But consider the joy of those corrected by God. Do not despise the discipline of the Almighty when you sin. For though he wounds, he also bandages. He strikes, but his hands also heal. Our loving Father uses trials and difficulty to refine us, much like a blacksmith uses heat to shape metal. Even though the process may be painful, it molds us into the image of Christ. When we go through trials, we shouldn't look at it as a punishment, but as God's way of teaching us and drawing us closer to Him. Thankfully, in this journey, we're not alone. As Job points out, he who wounds also bandages, he who strikes also heals. This truth shows us God's intention, which is not to break us, but to build us. Through trials, God remains our healer, restoring us in ways that we couldn't even imagine. We must learn to view God's correction through the lens of love. We need to try and welcome his discipline and allow it to bring us into a deeper relationship with him, refining us, setting us up for a harvest of righteousness and peace. Listen to the words of Paul in Hebrews 12 verse 11. No discipline is enjoyable while it's happening. It's painful, but afterward, there will be a peaceful harvest of right living for those who are trained in this way.